to the ring. Welcome to week seven of ECAC post you smash. Uh, today we're going against Kataba. I, th I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm Frisco. We're getting right into it. Starting off with uh, going right away with Kenny versus a Joker. Um, now, <clears throat> starting with Taunt. Now, I feel like this matchup can be a little Joker favored. Uh, Primarily because of Gun. I feel like Gun against Snake and Barber would be pretty effective um, at keeping, kind of peppering, being able to pepper Snake with different projectiles to prevent from kind of keeping his grenade out and pepper and whatnot uh, is very useful. But, you know, plus Joker also has like reflectors as we see there. Uh, his, the ability for movement is quite strong for Joker. But still, Snake is has such a good matchup against the majority of the cast in this game, um, just because he has a very unique play style overall. So we'll see. Right now, relatively even percentages. Uh, Kenny, Kenny right now is kind of behind, uh, but these are kill percents for both of these characters, essentially. And sometimes, Joker can have a tough time killing when Arsene is not out. Uh, first Blood goes to Kenny. C4 on stage. Going for the fair spike! Kenny does not care at all. <laughs> Kenny's going to go for those fairs. He's going to get those leads. Arsene's almost online right now, though. Kenny at 150%. This is not really the time you really want to get Arsene. You want, actually, now it is, because at that point, you want to time Arsene for kind of later percents, but not so late percents that regular Joker can't do the job, because then at that point, you're wasting um, your time with Arsene. Up smash to keep Joker at bay. Going to roll right into it. Kenny has to be very careful about uh, putting those F smashes in like really obvious places because he, they, those can get countered super easily by Joker. This Joker is very, very, very counter heavy, especially. F tilt. Uh, our son's online again, but down, down smash gonna not gonna be able to seal it out. Oh, actually, it is. That angle on down smash, especially with that DI out, was super nasty for Kenny. Able to seal it out. Quick game. Kataba down to six stocks, while Post down to eight. I will, It was very interesting to start, though. It seemed like the Joker did have an advantage very early on. 
was winning neutral a lot of the time against Kenny, but Kenny was able to turn it around. Uh, being able to hold onto the stock by the end, drawing first blood, it was still a kind of a weird situation for Kenny, even though he drew first blood, but the second he got that fair spike off stage, momentum completely shifted, and then... You know, Kenny really thrives in those situations. Kenny's very good at kind of being the surprise wild card in a lot of those stock taking situations. With the ECAC stage list, we have Battlefield, Bomb Destination, Town and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. With your counter picks being Hollow Bastion, Kalos, Small Battlefield, and Yoshi Story. Uh, per usual, Snake likes dual plats. This is what we talk about almost every time. Snake generally likes dual plats. Uh, Kenny, as a preference, seems to also balance off to Final Destination sometimes, though. It depends. I feel like we haven't seen Kenny on Final Destination that much this year. I feel like we've seen Kenny going a lot to Small Battlefield. Uh, Kenny also, feel, I feel like Kenny and, you know, Great both kind of like the Animal Crossing stages a bit. Uh, but really, it's it does seem like Kenny this year has been really picking uh, staying Small Battlefield in Pokemon Stadium 2. Generally, I would probably recommend, uh, as like a safe bet, banning Final Destination. Uh, it give having platforms gives snakes more places to land, uh, and then he can kind of work his way down from there. Uh, you don't, you generally don't want to get grabbed as Snake because Snake getting grabbed can be very tricky for him. He can have grenade in hand to prevent uh, pummeling from happening uh, and to kind of put pressure on their opponent on his opponent. Uh, to have to throw at very specific times. Uh, but, but yeah, Snake likes being in shield a lot with grenades, so he's a bit more susceptible uh, to, you know, getting grabbed, unless he's constantly moving. Snake, as a character, does re really should be moving a lot to prevent those grabs, but of course, you know, he tur he's a turtle character. He definitely likes to turtle with that grenade in his hands and hold shield, you know. It's a very strong, it's a very strong move. Kenny does go crazy. Kenny crazy. Kenny big, big crazy. Kenny's fair spikes and Kenny's F smashes go pretty hard. If I was playing Snake, I would probably never use F smash. I feel like it's such a... it's That move is so slow, and somehow Kenny makes it work. Okay, when it gets Corrin, though. I feel like Corrin... Uh, with how big the swings are on Corn, uh, things like Nair, Back Air, Fair, uh, these things can potentially outrange Grenade and be a little tricky for Snake. Uh, getting juggled by Corn is big news, and Snake's feet are kind of exposed when he's in the air. So you generally want Snake above you so you can hit his feet. Uh, what you don't want to do is be right on his shield <laughs> and, and kind of throwing out moves, because that's when the grenades are going to pop. Grenade on stage. Corrin's really opting to stay uh, in the air right now. It's going to put Kenny in a very strong position. If Corrin is staying above Snake the entire time, then it really leaves them open to be juggled. Uh, if you're in the air, you have to land, and Snake's very good at dash attacking, catching your landings. Things of that sort. Grenades, projectiles everywhere. 104% on Corrin, only 20 on Kenny. C4 is going to take the stock. Really quick maneuver right there. C4 on center stage, grenade up in the air, gonna explode, deal a little bit more damage. 51% uh, on Kenny, though. You know, Corn can take stocks really easy off the sides of the stage, so these are the kind of percents now that uh, if there's ed edge guards happening, Corn could very well steal out of stock, so Kenny does have to be careful off those off stage interactions. Uh, make sure he's not gonna get reverse edge guards. Ooh, catching the landing with a C4. Not, many, not very often you see that, to be honest. Down tilt on the shield. Corrin's really kind of trying to keep his distance right now. Just trying to save that mid-range. It's not really working out, though. A lot of these attacks are not connecting with Kenny. Uh, after this time, only 108% on Kenny. Percents are about to get lapped, too. Back air. Up smash. Up smash is just big enough in order to get hit that uh, up smash right there. Uh, what hit him? Was that another up smash? That's got a. Was it a grenade? 140 percents are lapped. Grenade. Yeah, he had picked up the grenade when he touched the ground. 
And C4 to read the down air. Very strong stuff coming out of Kenny right now. Uh, ooh, really good. Ed there. Oh my god, I actually would not have risked that. I would have stayed in shield. <laughs> good on you, Kenny, for knowing that. Ooh. Really desperate for the kill right now. 115 on mid-stage is not... I know, back air is strong, but it's not that strong. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. No, don't roll in. You're going to go right into the motor. Oh, that motor stays out for a while. Korn has a very unique F smash where um, he has a hitbox right in front of him the entire time he's charging. Uh, it's super strong. That's a very annoying F smash to deal with. When it's, uh, I think, at that far away, I don't think... Uh, if he could have stayed on ledge, I believe. But Kenny down to his last stock. Can he seal this out before losing another? Back air. Back air again. Not able to get the weak back air. All right, that was, yeah, that would have been an angle down. And going to seal it out with the seal for C4. Nothing crazy for Kenny right now. Business as usual. Putting Kataba down to their last three stocks. And Kenny down to his final. Putting post at seven. Now. Only one player left. Kenny's been going hard right now this game. Only one player left. This is going to give a lot of information to post going into the next round as well. You know, even if things go sideways here and somehow post loses his first round, this is very valuable information going into the next round. All players on the other team um, have, ex have given at least one of their characters. Granted, there could be counter picks. Um, but yeah, in a general sense, you know what's coming. You know, you can adapt. And even uh, if you are if you force players to their secondaries, uh, that is still an advantage to you. So everything's on the table for Post to know right now. Yet, Kataba has no idea, really, unless I've been watching some matches of Post, uh, who Post plays in general. Rainu. Again, with the ECAC stage list, <laughs> Kenny shouldn't do anything different. <laughs> Same bands, you know. I'm great. I'm assuming he banned Final Destination, uh, and he prob. I would assume he banned uh, maybe Kalos. Um, maybe Town and City. Uh, well, no, we played on Town and City just now, didn't we? Yeah, we did play on Town and City. So he probably banned Kalos, I assume. Final Destination and Kalos, I would assume. But again, Kenny goes hard. Kenny can play on whatever stage he really wants. Kenny versus the Weatherman. The weather men. And um, I don't think they can play Corrin again. I don't think the rules allow for them to play Corrin, though uh, I don't know if that's a difference between NECC or ECAC. I'm gonna... Go! Yeah. Oh, the same character rule is only NECC. Okay, awesome. I got corrected. Nice! Alright. So we're getting Corrin again. Uh, on po on uh, Yoshi's story. And actually, to be honest, with the double Corrin, this is actually a, kind of a bad stage right now for uh, Kenny, I would say. Because Corrin has such strong juggle potential uh, going up top right now. Uh, things like up air, uh, even back air and air can be very tough for a snake to get down from. Um, and coming off the top with Corn with things like up B is a lot stronger in general than Snake. So Snake can kill off the top with up tilt, but, you know, at that point, you're playing on the same level as the other player. I think uh, it's a bit more reliable for Corn to be juggling Snake. 101 on Kenny right now. Really tough uh, uh, situation. Though at quick 80, up to 89 with the explosives right now. 
Oh, there's a layer dodge. Down air. Aggressive off of the ledge. Uh, reverse pin. Yep, that's going to get punished hard. That was a pretty choreographed, to be honest. And then Nikita going to seal it out. Wow. Super strong coming out from Kenny right now. 114%. Quick 33. 47. Oh, Kenny loves going for that fair. He hasn't gotten it. He's gotten it once. He's gotten it once. We give him that. We give him one of those. <laughs> 57%. Oh, that's and that that okay. That tilt at the bottom is actually not in Corn's favor as we just saw because the F smash can't get tilted down to two frame the ledge. So that's one benefit for Snake in this. To be a bit more careful at ledge. Up smash, up tilt. Gonna catch the landing. Eighty-nine percent. Can Kenny get one more stock? At least one more. Come on, you got this, Kenny. Eighty-nine. Oh, that's this is a shield break waiting to happen. Kenny's got to say a little bit. Uh. A little bit move. Keep moving. Keep moving, Kenny. You gotta keep moving. <laughs> Let that shield regenerate. But we can see it right now a bit. It's a little hard for Kenny to get down from ledge. Uh, though the grenade trade is going to go for it. Weak hit back air is going to get interrupted by the upbeat. So. Uh, grab into the back throw. Yep. 114 off stage. Are we going for Nikita? We're going to counter the Nikita. Oh, back air is going to miss just slightly. Oh, I thought he was going to get the up tilt for that. 162 on Kenny right now. Really smoky percents. Weak hit up. Dash attack is going to send them upward. Kenny is really trying so hard to get this kill with like an up air or back air. Looks like we're going to clash a grenade. Kenny's really safe going up top. <laughs> the weak hit. <laughs> That was the strangest hit of down smash ever. It was like inside of Snake's head. Back air is not going to get in that. Neutral air dodge in. And the fair. Is that strong enough? Oh my god. Kenny gets the three stock. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that that was like 20, 30 something percent. That was so small of a percent. Wow, Kenny cleaning up all three players. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. Kenny was at 160% at that last stock too. He could have died to anything. But hey, <laughs> Kenny just goes. Kenny just goes. He goes. He, he really goes. <laughs> and now we're at the top of the order again. Everything resets. Post up to nine stocks. Kataba up to nine stocks. Nine. Post up one to zero. And again, these are best of three. So Post only has one more round to go. And at the top of the order, we only have our ECAC starters. <laughs> oh, I like the memes. <laughs> we have our ECAC starters, Battlefield, Final Destination, Town and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. Uh, not quite sure who Post is going to send it at this point. Um, I know that there is a stock differential that takes play that takes it's taken into consideration. Uh, going into the next part of the season. Now, uh, Post is probably thinking maybe of sending in Kenny again uh, just to clean up the rest of the stocks if it weren't that well this time because the more stocks they have uh, not lost, the better off they are going into the next round. Um, they get ranked a little higher if they happen to have the same wins as other teams, but, you know, then stocks get taken into consideration, and the team with the more stock differential uh, gets the higher ranking, which is very interesting. It's a very interesting choice to make for it. Um, well, with that in mind, they might just be really prone to just want to send Kenny right back in. And I don't blame them if they want to. I do not blame them. And it looks like it is going to be Kenny, actually, again. Uh, picking stages right now. Going against the Weathermen one more time. I like, it's, they're not Kataba. This, these are the Weathermen. <laughs> Snake! Right now, they're, right now, Kenny's fighting Al Roker. Al Roker didn't know what hit him. Now, I will say, uh, if Kenny does want to go for the more consistent three stocks, you know, he could play a little bit more careful. But honestly, he played the matchups so 
work well. It's like, what do you, what do you even give Kenny as like advice for, you know, improving on that? That was like, he only lost one stock, and he only lost two stocks per two of the matches. It's like, he, he played it just so well. It's like, I guess he could be a bit more careful. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's like, I don't know what you give for advice. He's just Kenny, just, Kenny goes hard. Kenny, just go harder. <laughs> That's the advice you give. Go even harder, man. <laughs> What are you doing? You lost a stock? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> do it again! If you don't do it again, man... Demerits. <laughs> You're right. It, it, that is the advice, though. Just do it again. <laughs> Do, why don't you do that every time? Right now, the weathermen are getting their meteor uh, meteorology charts already right now. Kenny's thinking about, you know, if it's raining tomorrow. He's taking their time. Is it raining tomorrow? Actually, I don't even... You guys are in Connecticut. I'm in Massachusetts, so... I gotta look at my own weather. Can't rely on you guys. It looks like our stage bands are online. At least the Weathermen have their stage bands ready and their character choice. Kenny following suit right now. And here we are going into the next round. Final week of the main season at ECAC, week seven. Potentially posts, uh, final round in this main season. If they can, clutch out the win. And we're getting the Joker again, which is interesting. Now, I don't think the Joker was a bad choice last time. Joker, uh, actually caught Kenny off guard early match. Uh, this time we're going to town and city. Now, I'm pretty sure it was a Pokemon Stadium 2 with the Joker last time. Um, Kenny going to the defensive mode already. Catching the air dodge in. Trying to get a lot of these reads on either air dodges or um, these faulty counters. Because I think Kenny's very well aware um, of how this player wants to really pop out our send as often as possible. Which isn't necessarily the greatest idea against certain characters. Right, right now, our send being out is such a disadvantage uh, for this Joker player. Only 21% on Snake. You're not going to get a kill. You might rack up a bit more damage, but it's... Like, Arsene's gone. <laughs> Arsene's gone. You, you really want to try and time Arsene to come out uh, only at certain points. Sometimes it's not beneficial for you to take the counter here. 42% on Snake. First blood is already drawn on Weatherman. Down throw. Dash attack. 63%. <laughs> the jab on shield. Back air. Uh, going for the F smash 2 frame. Not going to be good. But he's going to catch that down tilt with the F smash. Uh, I think he saved his life, actually. I don't think he had enough room to uh, get back. I think the Nikita saved his life. Uh, offstage interaction. Ooh. That's how you put the fear into Snake, is when you challenge him off stage like that. Oh, F tilt's gonna send Kenny right back off stage. Really good idea to back off right there, but up here's not quite strong enough. We're gonna get fast full neutral air dodge. Ooh, air dodge in, gonna get caught with the frame trap. Ooh, down smash. Not gonna get punished with an air, but the back air is gonna get sneak right back out. Grenade trying to cover the ledge, gonna give a little bit more less stage control. C4, sneaking that C4 in really quickly. Sealing out another stock. 161 on Kenny right now. 
can he pull some magic? Do a, get a three stock just like he did in that last match. Dash tag 44%. Arsene's out. This is looking pretty bad for Kenny to hold on to the stock. Oh, he missed the ledge. He missed the ledge. Oh, that up me. No, you hate to see it. But, hey, as you know, a great man once sent, we take those. <laughs> wow, post stays at nine. Kataba at six. Wow. The weathermen. <laughs> the weathermen, for real, guys. I don't know how he missed the ledge. Well, one, I don't know why the up B came out. It's got to be, you know, miss inputs. But, you know, if you have to fade back, you have to fade in. I know he was probably trying to avoid getting um, his landing caught by Snake, but I think there was a lot of pressure. I think he felt the pressure, he accidentally up beat, and then he really wanted to make sure he hit ledge, and he went out a little too far. He's probably holding down, too. And when you hold down uh, on your joystick, you miss the ledge. Cloudy with a chance of SDs. <laughs> it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Cloudy with a chance of SDs. Oh my god. But now, after the first match, our counter picks are open. Paolo Bastion, Kalo, Small Battlefield, Yoshi Story. Now, knowing that the next two are Corrin, um, I know Kenny had, had a three stock success on Yoshi Story the last time around. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't bring that fluke back into the picture, to be honest. I would probably ban Yoshi Story. Um, to be honest, uh, I would, pr knowing it's two corns, I'd probably leave Final Destination open. Um, I would ban Battlefield, I would ban Yoshi Story, um, and I, I think if there's a third ban, maybe ban one of the, you know, there's actually, there's no point in banning Smash or Hollow Bastion, you either get one or the other. Um, as long as you ban Final Destination, oh, sorry, ban Battlefield and Yoshi Story, I think you're good against Corrin. Everything else is like totally fine though at the same time uh, Kenny might feel more comfortable uh, leaving Yoshi story open for those ledges for those slants so that the F smash doesn't come through but we actually we're not getting corn we're getting Pyra Mithra um, I think Pyra is uh, sorry Mithra is kind of a force to be reckoned with against snake I think Mithra probably does very well against snake um, Pyra probably not so much those swings are so big and she's so slow um, but it's very, you know, you use Pyra in the situations where you really need to solidify the stock off of, off of a character. And in those situations, it's not so bad against Snake, but otherwise you're going to be sticking with Mithra for the majority of these uh, interactions. Oh, trying to catch the, the attempt to recover to that platform. These side are going to get punished every single time by Kenny at this point. Knowing, once he knows he's going to come out. Kenny, you're supposed to know they're going to come out. Don't make me eat my words. <laughs> Ooh, Blazing End. That was one thing. Blazing End is going to be very annoying on Snake if they stay on the same plane of existence. But if Snake's on platform, it's not as much of a factor. 59% on Kenny. C4 on the bottom. That that getup attack is going to get punished by C4. 95% on Pyra. Dash, I'm going to get the punish. Catching the anti-air. Dash attack every time. Dash is going to do so much work in this matchup. Uh, with all of these landings, all these side Bs, all these landings going to get punished every single time by a dash attack. Kenny going to steal out that stock right now. 59% on Kenny. Being a little desperate with Pyra right now. Uh, even at 74%, I would not stay on Pyra, which we are seeing the switch to Mithra. Ooh, trying to catch the last one air dodge. Chroma Dust, going to catch that. C4 not able to pop, it's still on stage. Smash gonna pop the grenade. Up smash that ledge. Not gonna catch the anti-air. Ooh, parry. Gonna get the up tilt. Really good cognizance of the cross-up. Being very patient. Sometimes people rush and they don't think things are gonna cross up. 135. Up tilt. A lot of things are gonna be able to kill on Kenny now. I think um you could actually do town down throw F-Tilt on Mithra at this, a uh, Pyra at this point, specifically Pyra, and I think that's a confirm. I could be wrong. 157. We're in the range of uh, down throw up tilt. 
Kenny really wants it. You always know when Kenny wants to get the death row up to it. That, sh that, I will say right now, that shield is a Skittle. 201. That, I will say that stock had a, l a bit more worth. Able to get a bit more percent on Snake. Uh, should make this next stock uh, a shoe-in for Pyra. But we never know with Kenny. <laughs> Kenny is super strong at holding on to his stocks. Yeah, that's going to do it. Ken Snake is a big boy, but not that big of a boy. Even Side B is going to kill. Side B doesn't typically kill, but when you're at that high percent, of course, it's going to kill. Mithra. It's quick 64. Though, I will say 61 on Kenny right now. Percents are looking pretty even. 88%. I'm actually surprised that grenade didn't that grenade didn't punish the side B. I guess that's the hitbox is big enough. Uh, up tilt, Mithra's light. Very shocking though that that was relatively kill percent. One nineteen. Another one of those though will kill. F tilt with a kind of a bad case of DI right there. Ooh. Wait. I don't understand. Did they use their jump? I guess they used their jump. They just went right for the up B. I think that was an SD, to be honest. Though I get it, Nikita does force errors like that. Um, I, I don't... Didn't they have their jump? Am I wrong? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Post is going to take it. And down, Putting Kataba down to three stocks. Actually, hey, did Kenny lose a stock? I don't think he lost a stock, did he? He lost one. Okay. So now, post is down to eight. Looking very strong right now. Looking very strong for Kenny right now. Jeez. Uh, going two stocks into the next match. Uh, we might see Corrin again. Now, at least one of those Corrin players switched off. We know that. Uh, but will the other one stay on Corrin? Um, you know... Between the two of them, they only got one stock, so it might be beneficial to actually see another character switch. We will see. Uh, on the if, if I was Kenny right now, I would still be on the safe side. I would be banning Yoshi's story, um, and I would be banning Battlefield. To be honest, uh, I feel like you can take that risk and uh, in, in leaving FD open. Then you know the only way that really kind of is a bummer is if you get a they counterpick to a character like Samus, um, Duck Hunt. Um, things like that that work very well in a horizontal fashion and have a lot of uh, horizontal uh, projectile pressure. That stuff can be a pain in the um, tuckus <laughs> for Snake. But I, I think, you know, if you know Corn's coming up, you just, you ban. Okay, I hope he banned FD. <laughs> we have Kazuya Mishima on the board. Uh, the count most counterpicking of counterpick characters in a lot of ways. Uh, are, do we have FD open? Is FD on the board right now? It'd be very unfortunate. Ah, uh, Kalos, not that bad, but still, it's kind of FD-ish. Um, so this is... You gotta let Kenny take his stock. You gotta let Kenny take his stock. There we go. There we go. Now, Kazuya on these flatter stages is gonna be very strong. Um, but yeah, you're playing now. You're playing. Come on. I, I don't want to be trying to be patient, but... Kazuya is going to be very, typically very strong. <laughs> but Kenny just doesn't care. He's going to go right for these fares. Typically, you do not want to be on the same plane of existence as Kazuya since he can CQC incredibly well and kind of kill you off touch of death stuff. Uh, Kenny, though, is going to back throw you. He's going to dash attack you, and he's going to fare you off stage. He just does not care what's going on. 66% on Kazuya. Only 9% on Snake right now. Down smash. This is typically how you want to play this matchup as Snake. You kind of want to play those side platforms a bit and not stay in shield for too long. Because you also have to avoid... Because he has a command grab, so you have to avoid that. Uh, which, uh, Rage Arts online. Rage Drive. 125. Uh, I will say Rage Drive could probably kill Snake at this percent. Ooh, good um, get-up attack. Oh my god, catching the anti-air with the up tilt. Kenny's just on fire. There's no stopping Kenny. 
Down throw, up tilt. Gonna catch the landing. No, uh, reading the air dodge from the wrong side. Not able to get the shield out for the laser. 79% on Kenny. Uh, a lot of things on Kazuya would probably kill at this point. But Kenny be Kenny. Up smash, gonna s interrupt the side B. C4 on the bottom, and that is the jab combo. But um, I don't believe the entire jab combo is true on Kazuya. I think you fall out of a lot of it. How did he not grab him? I don't know how he didn't grab him there. Back throw. Down tilt. Trying to read the rolled in. I know Kenny just wants to hold on to this stock so bad. He wants every stock to count. Oh. He just wants to grab for right, some reason right now. Come on, you can... I was going to say, that jab shouldn't kill. <laughs> Not at this percent. And f tilt is going to take it. Wow. Kenny only losing one stock in that entire nine stock string. Kenny is amazing. <laughs> Kenny is so good. Hey, Post wins at 2-0, only losing a total of three stocks that entire match. Hey, <laughs> GG's, man. GG's. Kenny really is. Kenny is going to be so angry, though, if uh, it does come down. Let's If it does come down to stock counts, Kenny's going to be so angry if it's a one stock off. <laughs> But hey, Post wins it 2-0 over Kataba, over the Weathermen. Super strong. It's like, what do you even say about that? What do you even say? Kenny just being very masterful with how he approaches the matchups, uh, being patient when he needs to be, uh, forcing his hand when he feels like he can, like, you know, um, pushing the envelope and the agenda a little bit with a CQC. Uh, Kenny has very strong CQC instincts, and he can play slow if he really wants to. Um, and we saw it there. We really did. Uh, sneaking out in all these C4s to catch a lot of these landings, uh, which is something you don't see terribly often from Kenny. He doesn't really... It, like, he sneaks them... He snuck them in a lot today, I feel like, these C4s to catch landings. Uh, a lot of fair spikes, a lot of offstage interactions, just really pushing the envelope there. And you love to see it every time, of course. So, again, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I've been Frisco, and this has been Post Smash versus Kataba. Post takes it 2-0. Uh... We're probably gonna have um, NECC at some. I, I assume we're gonna. We might get NECC this week, though. I, I under, from what I understand, the esports lab is closed. I believe it's still being figured out um, when it comes to the NECC matches. But hey, uh, Denny's gonna let you know in the uh, Discord. So keep an eye in there for more Smash this week. Uh, otherwise, hey, I'll see you guys later. It's always been fun. Have a good night. Adios, guys. <laughs>